Amen. Wow. So I want you to be prepared because I'm going to teach you something that will make you take advantage of your born day or your birthday. Amen. That Amen. is going to push you to a whole other dimension in God that is going to make you Amen. benefit Amen. dramatically in the hands of God. Amen. So I want you to be ready. I want you to be prepared because God is going to move in a special way. Amen. I want Amen. you to share this, share this as many times as you can. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to share. I am going to give you 30 mm. seconds to share. Amen. Jesus. Now, I want to explain to you something that I believe will bless you. Amen. And I believe will change your life. And I'm giving you an opportunity to capture something by the Spirit that usually... I wouldn't, but I'm going to share it just because I want you to take advantage of it. Amen. Amen. You see, everything spiritual yes. was designed for you to take advantage of. Amen. Amen. You see, what God gives can never run out, cannot be outspent. It was created to keep giving. Wow. So when you understand a spiritual mystery... It is in your best interest to take advantage of it. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Now, I want you to understand something. If you're ready, just say, I am ready, and then I will continue. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, listen to this. Listen to this the best way that you can. You see, no spirit comes into the world without a portal. Mm. Mm. Teach. No spirit comes into the world without a portal. Mm -mm -mm. There is no entry into the natural realm without a portal. Wow. Mm. Mm. You see, the spirit of man and the flesh of man are two different things. When Amen. God formed Adam out of the dust of the earth, mm -hmm. the Bible says God blew into man the breath of life and man became a living soul. Yes. So your mother who carries your flesh mm. is wow. not the one who puts the spirit. Wow. wow. Jesus. The mother who carries the flesh is not the one who produces mm. the spirit. Mm. That is why in a family, even though everyone may look alike, you can tell this is a brother, this is a sister, this is an auntie, this is an uncle. They may all look alike, mm. but they all behave completely different because the body is simply a cloth mm. that yeah. a spirit is wearing. Mm. Yes. Some of you that are watching, you know you and your brothers and sisters are completely different. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You know you and your uncles are different. Yeah. Hmm. Your mother and her uncles and her, uh, your mother and her uncles or her, um, your mother and her sisters. It's just everybody is an individual. Yeah. The only common thing that you share is in the flesh, not in the spirit. Mm. Come on. When somebody becomes born again, he becomes joined to other saints. Hmm. By the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. Because God is the one who is producing the Spirit. That is why people who walk with God closely, they are much more like in mind mm. than people who are born of the same flesh. You may find yeah. that since you receive yeah. Jesus, you have a better time hanging out with other so Christians true. than hanging out with your own family. So because you have truly found the family in which your spirit came from. Wow. wow. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to myself. Jesus. Oh my God. This is too much. I'm feeling. <laughs> can we turn on yeah. the, the heater? The, I feel like. Uh, turn the, on the heater? Yeah, yeah okay. let's turn it on. <laughs> okay, I want to get loose. I feel the, the anointing is flowing. Thank you. Uh, watch this. Are you ready? Let's go. Somebody say, Watch this. Watch, watch this. this. Let's push it deep. That portal only opens once in a year. That is why birthdays are very important. Mm. Because it commemorates the day that the portal 
of heaven was opened mm. to release your spirit. Mm. Mm. Deep. On your birthday, there is a special grace that you receive for every year that you get to that point. Mm. It marks something. Mm. It's a mark. It's a landmark. Mm. Wow. There is a grace that is released to you mm. every year. Mm. Every year that is supposed to carry you throughout that year into your life as you continue. Amen. That is why every year you progress. Amen. If you are not progressing physically, uh, spiritually, financially, emotionally, physically, it's physically your body is aging. Mm. Letting you know that you reach that same place that you were born. You mm. reach that same Every year you get to that point, your body changes. Whoa, wow. Your spirit should change. Your Amen. soul should change. Yes, yes, wow. yes. Yes. The reason why people feel disappointed is that when you get to that age, mm. when you get to that timeline over and over again, but nothing is changing. Help us. It hurts you. You feel like mm. I have wasted my life. Jesus. How do you know that you have wasted your life? Because there is a line that marks yeah. wow. every year that is passing that change is expected. Yeah. Wow. When a baby is born, there is certain wow. expectation it's they are baby. Yes. Yes. They turn one. You expect them to start walking and start moving around. Amen. Why do you expect that? Because every year mm -hmm. marks growth. Amen. Yes. Wow. And there is Amen. a grace that is released for every growth. Amen. The Bible says the boy Jesus grew in wisdom and stature. Mm. Meaning every year there is something about your body changes. But Jesus was not just changing physically. Mm. He was My changing spiritually God. too. Amen. His wisdom was increasing. Mm. His body was changing. Jesus. My God. This is why it is wrong when somebody is of age but their understanding is dull. Wow. Because spiritually you are supposed to be maturing, but you're not maturing, so there is something wrong. Yes, wow. Papa. Yes. I, I feel like I'm talking to myself. Help us, Papa. Papa. So good. Uh, if you are there, just shout fire. 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 If you are there, just shout fire. Fire. If you are there, shout fire. Fire. I want to show you something. Amen. I want to show you something. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to go to Genesis chapter 18, verse 9. Amen. Amen. Genesis 18, verse 9. Mm -hmm. And they said unto him, uh -huh. Where is Sarah thy wife? This is God when he visited Abraham. He's asking Abraham, where is your wife? Uh -huh. And he said, Behold, in the tent. Uh-huh. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. Stop right there. I will return to you according to the time of life. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. What is the time of life? If I tell you I will come to you according to the time of life, what am I saying? I'm saying every birthday. I'm On the day that your wow. birthday comes, Amen. I will visit you. Amen. Amen. Wow. Ah, you're not catching it. Wow. I wish somebody could understand it. I wish somebody could understand it. Is somebody getting it? Amen. Is somebody getting it? Is somebody getting it? Yes, Papa. God told Abraham, where is your wife Sarah? Hmm. Uh, she's in the kitchen. Okay, no problem. I will visit her according to the time of life and she will have a child. Amen. According to wow. what time of life? What is measuring your life? Yeah. It's your birthday. Wow. Amen. Deep, Papa. So the grace that Sarah desired could only be given to her on when? Wow. You guys didn't get it. <laughs> I caught it. There are certain <laughs> miracles that you can only receive them according to the time of life. Amen. Because these miracles are released and these blessings are released according to your maturity. You, wow. you see, when you do not develop physically, an example is you remain one year old. If you go to the bank to buy a car, they won't give you. They'll say you're a child. Mm -hmm. 
even though you have lived to be 100 years old because you appear to be one year old no one yeah. is going to give you anything mm. wow. they will say you have but you are a child mm. meaning that there are things that are not given to children and there are things that are only given to the mature come on so your birthday plays a part in how also god blesses you I, I wish somebody could hear me. This is good. I'm learning. Wow. Is somebody listening to me? Yes, yeah. Papa. Is somebody listening to me? Listening. That day is the most important day. Hmm. And that portal is op only opened in two places. The day you came into the world, ah. whenever you mark your birthday, or the day you left the earth. Mm. Wow. Those are the only times that portal opens. Wow. Mm. The way you are born, every year you mark that day, and the day you are taken into heaven. The day Jesus was born, he was born to accomplish a mission mm -hmm. that was fulfilled by his departure. Mm. You didn't get it. The portal that Jesus came through, mm -hmm. he opened it for every human being the day he left the earth. Mm. Somebody is still not understanding. When Jesus came into the world, nobody had access to heaven. But when Jesus died and resurrected, he opened a portal that everybody could go to heaven. Listen to what Jesus said. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father unless they come what? Through me. Jesus. <laughs> we benefit from the birth of Jesus and from the death of Jesus because that door he came through, he opened it for everybody to go through it. That is why he said nobody has ascended unto heaven except the son of man who has come from heaven. But the day he departed, he opened that door that everybody Jesus. can go to heaven through that same wow. door. Thank you, Lord. Jesus Christ. If you read the book of Jeremiah, God tells Jeremiah something very interesting. He says, Jeremiah, before you were born, I knew you, and I ordained you a prophet to the nation." Before you were born, I knew you. Meaning before he sent his spirit on the earth, God already told him, you're going to go and be a prophet. You're going to go and preach to these people. So many of you don't know your destiny because you don't understand the day you were born. Jesus. You don't understand the events that surround the day you were born. Why? Because Why? your birth speaks of where you're going. Amen. Your birth announces what you have come to do. Amen. So anyone who is not acquainted with the day they were born, mm. they don't know their future. Mm. Wow. My Jesus. God. There are people who are born by the grace of God. They just know they were born to be a pilot. They just know they were born to... Mm. You begin to manifest certain things. They start saying, hey, he's talented in this, wow. he's talented in that. And before they knew it, know it, you become that thing. Wow. Yeah. The question is this. Jesus. I'm going to ask you. Have you investigated the day you were born? Have you prayed about the day you were born? Why you were born? Yes. yes. My God. This is so good. You try to figure out something <laughs> that you can only know but from God. Mm. Help us. You can live life become a very successful businessman wow. become a very successful businesswoman transcend and succeed but fail in the sight of god because you never did anything you are brought to do you did not come on earth to become rich even though having riches is good because you can help and it helps you to do what you are sent to do mm -hmm. but the end goal is not money because you will leave it here there are people who had money before you, they came and they left it. They can't take it anywhere. Because it's only a tool that is supposed to help you fulfill Amen. what you came to do. Amen. Life is not having the best job. Mm, come on. 
life is not having is not about the, having the most successful business or the the most the most fame you can think of life is about fulfilling a purpose that god almighty sent you on amen. earth to do amen that is what life is about. Amen. Wow, wow, wow. Yes. That is why there are people who can be very successful, yet fail. My Emotionally, God. they yes. have not gotten any fulfillment wow. that they begin to think about killing themselves, destroying themselves. Why? Because nothing fulfills. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nothing is fulfilling for them because of one reason. They don't know why they are here. Wow, Jesus. You can climb the highest mountain and realize that it wasn't what I thought. Yes, right. yes. Somebody didn't hear what I said. Amen. You can climb the highest mountain mm -hmm. and realize that it did not fulfill what you thought it would fulfill. Wow, wow, you can wow. buy all the nicest cars, all the nicest clothes and realize that you're empty. Wow. Because life is about understanding what you are sent to do. Amen. I wish more people could share this before I go deep. Amen. 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 Wow. The attack of the devil over your life did not begin the day you received Jesus. The attacks you have in your life did not begin the day you entered church. Come on. The attacks in your life did not begin when you married the wrong person. Or when you married a Christian. Or when you started hanging out with Christians. Or when somebody cursed you. No, 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 no. Demonic attacks started the day you were born. Because the devil understands what you came to do, but you don't know what you came to do. My God. Hey. Ay, 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 the ay, devil ay. observed the day you were born. Come on. But you have no idea about why you were born. But the devil knows well why you were born. Moses is being born in Egypt. The devil already knows there is a spirit that has entered this world. This boy is going to deliver the children of Israel. I want the children of Israel in bondage. Because if they get delivered... It means a great nation will come out of this wow. and that great wow. nation wow. will wow. produce wow. the Messiah on earth that every human being will be wow. saved. So the My only God. way I can stop that event is by stopping a spirit of a man called Moses. If Moses is killed while he's a baby, mm -hmm. the whole plan is aborted. Wow. Because My Moses God. was the only one designed to do that one My thing. God. Don't you realize why it is very dangerous when the Bible says, if you don't do what you are supposed to do, the blood of people will be on your hands. There are people who cannot get saved. They will never receive Jesus because you never did your work. My God. And there is no one who can save those people because you are the only one designed to reach them. My God. So those people's blood will be on your hands. Oh if God. Moses never became what he was supposed to be, the blood of Israel would have been on his hands. How can the devil know more about your future than you? Oh my God. Come on. Oh. I wish somebody could hear me. Oh, listen, Baba. Deep. The Lord Jesus was born. As he grew, he, understand, uh, he understood exactly why he was born. Come he on. comprehended that his life was to be a sacrifice unto God. Mm -hmm. John the Baptist was born knowing exactly what he was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Samson knew what he came to do. Yes. Joshua knew what he came to do. Yes. Elijah knew what he came to do. Mm -hmm. Some were told what they came to do. You, you don't know why you, you, you've been born speaking in tongues, rebuking demons, but you don't know why you came on earth. My God. Jesus. Jesus. You see, God can stop the devil from touching your future, but you yourself can destroy your future because you don't know what you're supposed to do. Wow. Do you <laughs> oh understand that the devil cannot hinder what God has ordained. 
The only way the devil can hinder it is by putting a stumbling block before you. Jesus. When you are not in control of your life, you will try to put a stumbling block on the ones who are carrying you. The day you receive the Lord Jesus, yeah. mm -hmm. you are given a second chance to fulfill why your spirit came on earth. Jesus. You are earth. enforced and empowered to fulfill what you came to do on earth. earth. There are some of you that you are born again, you still don't know what you're supposed to my do. God, my <laughs> God. Come on. And the mistake and the error is one simple thing. You never ask God. Mm. You want to copy what everybody else is wow. doing. You want to imitate what you think a Christian should do, not what you are born to do. Mm. We were not all called to read the Bible mm -hmm. and preach before people. Come on. We were all called to read the Bible. Yes, yes, yes. This is the manual to life. Mm -hmm. But we were not all called to stand on the, pul and the pulpit and preach. Mm -hmm. And God said, mm -hmm. the Bible says that we should witness. To witness and to preach are two different things. To witness wow. is to share about Jesus. Imagine. In whatever field you are in, you are supposed to witness about yes. who Jesus is to you. But to preach it is not for everybody. Not everybody is an evangelist. That's why the Bible says, and the Spirit gave some to be evangelists, some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be teachers, some to be pastors for the edification of the church. Amen. There are people who are called to sit in the crowd and there are people who are called to serve them. But if you do not understand why you came on earth, Jesus. you keep going to prayer meeting after prayer meeting. Wow. People keep pouring more oil on you. You have people interceding for you. Rabba, baya. Mm. Nothing is going to happen. They will Come pray, on. they will sweat, they will roll on the ground. They will drown you in anointing oil. Nothing will happen. Jesus. There are mysteries that are surrounding everything. Jesus. Satan understood the purpose of Adam more than Adam knew. He understood the purpose of Eve more than Eve knew. Because they observed... If you don't pray and seek God and start connecting the dots, you'll never understand why you came into this world. 